25 years ago, the international community took its very first collective step to solve the climate crisis at the Rio 92 conference. It was a great honor to represent my country in Rio as chairman of the U.S. Senate delegation that year, a and I was so pleased to see the goals of that conference and the UNFCCC cemented with the signing of the Paris Agreement a year ago in December. What a wonderful development. And I will never forget the Brazilian leaders who played key roles way back a quarter century ago in 1992, including uh, Professor Jose Goldenberg, uh, Gilles von Meyria, Ambassador Rubens uh, Recupero, and many, many others from all around the world. It was a wonderful gathering. And I'm so happy to be able to join you by means of this video to remember and to recognize and celebrate that historic groundbreaking work. We've come a long way since Rio, and the Paris Agreement truly was a momentous step. But of course, the work must continue and accelerate. Today, we only face three questions about the climate crisis. The first one still is, must we change? Of course, we know the answer because every day we pour 110 million tons of man-made global warming pollution into the atmosphere as if it's an open sewer. And all the extra heat energy trapped by that man-made global warming pollution is equal to more than what would be released by 400,000 Hiroshima-class atomic bombs exploding on the Earth every single day. It's a big planet, but that's a lot of energy, and the consequences of that extra heat energy are now, unfortunately, very clear. Stronger storms, bigger downpours, and more destructive floods and mudslides, rising sea levels, deeper and longer droughts, crop failures, strengthening wildfires, spreading tropical and subtropical diseases, melting ice, and now coastal areas already experiencing the consequences of sea level rise. So, Yes, we must change. Uh, the scientists have long since warned us that we have to, and now Mother Nature is speaking out much more persuasively. So the answer to the first question is yes. The second question is, can we change? If we have to change and we can't, then I don't want to hear any more about it. That's a formula for anxiety and depression. But fortunately, the answer to that second question is now also a resounding yes. In fact, I'm more hopeful than ever that we are now finally getting on the right track. Clean, renewable energy is now cost competitive with fossil fuel sources in a rapidly growing number of areas and nations around the world. Major corporations are finally making significant investments in clean energy, battery storage, energy efficiency and sustainability technologies across the board. Businesses are now beginning to work together to encourage more sustainable and energy efficient practices. And the investment community is now divesting from fossil fuels. Finally, the ever increasing costs of carbon pollution are affecting people's daily lives and people in every corner of the globe are now demanding action. So, uh, can we change? Yes, you bet. So now the third and final question is, will we change? Well, in December of 2015, when the historic Paris Agreement was reached, we all said worldwide, yes, we will change, virtually every nation in the world. But our journey was only beginning. We knew this work would not be easy, far from it. We knew that more would be required. And now we know that our work must be redoubled. All of the commitments taken together are still not enough, but we've got the momentum now. So now is the time for us together to turn our focus uh, to making the promises of the Paris Agreement a reality. By warmly embracing these forces that are already working to grow our economy in the right way and transform our energy future. All of you are working every day to meet this challenge. Thank you. You're encouraging communities, governments, and businesses to make careful, sustainable choices in design, manufacturing, marketing, and consumption, and to transform the producer-consumer landscape in Brazil, 
and all around the world. We're going to win this. We're going to answer all of these questions with a resounding yes. And it will be in no small part thanks to the people and organizations represented there who have been at it for an awfully long time now. It's true that some still doubt that we have the will to act, but I must say the will to act is itself a renewable resource. Thank you.